Hi everyone, my name is Angela from Angela Stitches and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I finished this project into a hanging ornament. So this is called Spirit of Knitting Angel and it's by Brooks Books. I'll have her Etsy shop and her website linked in the description box below, so you can also check her out. So I've been working on this project for a while now and I just finished all of the pieces this week and also cut out all of the parts. So everything is ready now to fully finish. But I also need a couple of materials to finish this and I've been using this as the hanger. So all of my angel ornaments have the same type of hanger and I want to keep everything cohesive so I'm going to use this today as well. And for backing I'm going to use a piece of cardboard and some felt. So I need several pieces because I'm going to back the angel and the wings and I haven't decided yet but maybe the lamb but I might not because it's going to be attached on top of the angel anyways. So I'm not really sure if that's going to be necessary um, to back this, but his back leg does stick out a little bit. So depending on how much it sticks out from the angel, I'll decide whether or not to back it. So I'm going to just use regular cardboard. Or actually, I think it's called cardstock because it's a little thinner than the actual cardboard. But yeah, and I have another scrap here so I can cut one out for the wings. And for the felt, I have my box here with everything that I have. And for the wings, depending on the color of the wings, I like to have a lighter color. So I can just use this ivory color, I guess. And I like to color coordinate the back with the dress of the angel. So I'm going to see if I have a green that matches. I have this, but clearly this is too small and it's too neon for this angel anyways. I have this one, but that doesn't really match. This is actually gray, but it looks slightly dark greenish. Yeah, I guess I don't have any greens left. So maybe I'll go with the browns to match the color of the paper. So I have three browns and I guess not really, I don't really like this. So I guess I can match it with the purple on her belt, but I think this is too pastel-y. Okay, so I decided to go with these two colors because I didn't have any greens. So here are some of the angel ornaments and all the backs I was able to color coordinate so far, but I don't have any green for the knitting angel. So this is evergreen angel that I call Cindy and Mrs. Claus and her wings are backed with the brown felt because of the paper. And oh yeah, I did back this here. So maybe I will back the lamb. So I think I'm going to do that and I think that'll look better too. So this one is backed with this cardstock and the reason why I like to add a piece of cardstock is because this angel or Mrs. Claus just have the felt without any cardstock and it feels very flimsy and fragile. But the snow angel has paper and the felt and it feels more sturdy. And I don't feel like I'm going to break it when I'm handling it. So that's why I started backing all of my projects with the cardstock. And to glue everything together, I have my hot glue gun. And I'm just going to plug this in now because it takes a bit of time to warm up. And I used to use other types of glue, but I find this to be the most effective and easy to work with. And also it dries instantly, so yeah, I really like that. I also need a little piece of floss for the hanger that she's holding, but instead I'm going to use memory thread because I think it'll be much more easier to work with. So the first thing that I'm going to do is trace the angel onto the paper or the cardstock. But before that, actually, I'm just going to cut this piece out. So I'm going to trace this, but I'm going to use this other side. The other side was glossy, but this side is matte, and I'll tell you why I do this later. Um, it's nothing too important, but I'm just going to use this matte side. Okay, so I'm going to 
cut this out in a little bit but I'm going to do the same for this one, the wings. So I'm going to cut this out now but I like to cut it right on the line that I drew or even just a little bit inward because I end up trimming the paper again after I glue this onto the stitch pieces anyways because I don't want to see any paper when this is glued on. So it looks pretty good, but I'm going to trim a little bit more accurately so that I don't see any paper from the front and also cut this out too. And this time I'm just going to use my smaller sharper needle or scissors so that I could get into these corners. I like to check every once in a while because I don't want to see any paper from the front but I also don't want the paper to be too small. So I like to keep checking. I think I like where this is at right now. It looks pretty good. But I'm probably going to trim the edge again later after I glue this on. But I like to do it as much as I can before gluing it on. So I have all the pieces cut out and I like to use the back side, the matte side, because um, this is perforated paper. Sometimes you can see the paper behind it through the holes, but when it's matte, you, your eyes doesn't catch that. But when the paper is shiny and glossy like this, it can reflect the light and it catches your eye through one of the holes. Or if you have paper showing around the edge, it'll. it's better to have the matte side showing, I think. And it wouldn't matter all that much if the angel had a lot of krennic and beads because it's going to be sparkling anyways, but this angel doesn't. So, And you don't have to do this, but I kind of think about those things when I finish. So yeah, that's why I like to use the matte side. Okay, so now I just need my felt. So I'm just basically going to do the same thing and just trace and cut out the pieces. I have all of my pieces ready now, but before I glue this on, I need to attach these items onto her hands. So the cover picture shows that the hanger is made with a couple of different colors of DMC, I think, but I'm just going to use this memory thread. Um, and I'm going to take this lavender color and I'm just going to 
need just a little bit and then you see here in the picture that it's tied around her wrist with a bow and I don't really like that so instead I'm going to add some Krennic ribbons and make a bow with that on her hand instead of tying it around her wrist and my other angels has Krennic ribbons hanging on the side so but those were designed that way so I'm just going to do the same thing for this angel um, it's an extra step but it's going to be quick and easy so I'm just going to do that and I want to use a matching color to the hanger so I'll just use this one it's a very pretty sparkly purple um, so I think it'll look nice I'm just going to take about 10 inches and tie a bow in the middle just like this so this is what it's going to look like when everything is stitched in so I have my needle and thread and I'm just going to stitch all of the items onto the hanger I'm just making sure I have the spacing evenly so I can fit all of the items here. So everything is stitched in and nothing is moving around or sliding around. So I'm going to stitch the end onto the hand, but I'm also going to stitch the bow at the same time so I only have to do this once. And to hide this end, I'm just looping it around and making a little circle. And I'm just going to cut that out, cut the end, um, and stitch down the whole thing together so it doesn't move. So I think I'm ready to start gluing, except this is a little too long, so I'm just going to cut this a little shorter. Yeah, so everything looks really good. So I'm going to start hot gluing everything, but I have to remember not to forget the hanger. So I'm going to glue this in between the paper and the felt. So I'm just going to keep this over here, and then, yeah, I'm just going to start gluing. I had to unplug my glue gun earlier because I wasn't ready for it, but I think it's ready now, so... I only have a little bit left in this stick, so I'm going to do the lamp first and use a new stick for the angel. And I like to have my stitched piece flat onto the table and bend the paper instead to glue this um, because this paper is going to be covered anyways with felt so I don't mind the paper getting all bent and it's pretty flexible so it's not going to get too ruined even if I bent it like this. So here I can see some paper showing around the edge, so I'm just going to go back in with my scissors and trim these.
And then I'm just going to take my hanger and glue it somewhere in the middle here. And I like to work fast with the hot glue because once the glue starts cooling down, it can look bumpy under the felt. So I work as fast as I can and then press it down so the glue is warm enough to be flattened when I press it down. Okay, so the gluing is almost finished. I just need to glue the lamb and the wings onto the angel. And if I didn't back this with the felt and the cardboard, I could just stitch it on before the gluing step when I was attaching the hanger. But since I backed this, I'm just going to hot glue this directly onto the stitching. And for the wings, I want to show the wings as much as I can. So I'm going to attach it a little higher up than my other angels. And I think this will still look good. Um, I'm just going to add glue right in the middle here. And press it down a little bit. So this is the finished angel. And this was a quick one. This only took like an hour to do. My other angels, it took all day to do because there were other things that I had to make other than the stitched pieces, like my fairy godmother and Christmas star angel. They had a lot of other components. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. The back looks like this, but this kind of bothers me. So later I might add a small piece of felt just to protect it because it feels very fragile there without anything on the back to support it. But other than that, I'm really happy that I finally got this done. And it was really fun to do. Um, it was really fun to stitch this, even though there were a lot of issues with the paper and like DMC running out. But yeah, so I'm going to hang this on my wall with my other angels and start working on my next angel. But you'll see that in my next stitching vlog. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching how I fully finished my angel projects. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!